All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakhach Rosh, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim, walk, walk, them, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. This is going to be another, uh, you know, video to the Spirit. Me and the Akim were up last night, you know, just having a spiritual conversation, which, you know, is only a product of being in this truth, because these monkeys in the world don't know what's going on. And we were just talking about all the wickedness. That's in the world and how basically this place isn't going to be allowed to continue on forever. This place is going to be cut off. Esau's so-called white man is not going to rule forever. All right. The Israelites, God's chosen people are not going to be in the ghettos forever. This place is literally is it's so much evil and wickedness is that it will be destroyed. All right. Imagine. Oh, I can't, it's like, it's, well, you know, the one scripture, uh, it's wickedness have reached up to heaven. Hey, you have to firmly believe that this place will be destroyed. It's just a matter of hanging on until that happens. That's all that, all we're waiting on now. Everyone's in the stadium. Everyone has bought their tickets. All we're waiting on now is for the game to begin. All right, this is Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. And this is dealing with the ancient world, but this is, you know, also can be equated to here. It says, and the Most High Power saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually, and repented, and it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. That's a lot. Console basically, and that's similar to how things are. Uh, to how things are now, all right. Everything is all you see is people wanting to do whatever their wicked heart's desire is, and the Most High is pissed off. But He's only going to spare one group of people, all right. His elect. He's only going to spare uh, one group of people that uh, are showing that they're uh, repetitive. All right, that they want to actually get out of here. Everything else in this world is literally going to be obliterated. This world must be cleansed. There's too much evil going on. You can literally, it's going to be to the point to where you can just be out and about in public and you'll see grown adult, uh, grown adults probably having uh, intimate relations with young children. All right, pedophilia is now becoming okay. You already have a homosexuality running rampant, but it's going to get to the point to where pedophilia is literally just as simple as drinking water, all right? You got the police ready to knock you off at any second. You have these heathens that are all over us. This is literally, this is worst case scenario. This is Shit's Creek. This is rock bottom. So the only thing now is for this place to be obliterated and for things to start over, all right? This is Second Edges chapter 7, verse 41. And this is a prophecy given to uh, Edges. It says, even so now, seeing corruption... Oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, no, no, this isn't it. It's a lot. Uh, this is second address 14. I'm going to start at 16. It says, and this, I'm going to just read it. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen uh, happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world uh, shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evil increase upon them that dwell therein. So basically the Lord was telling Edris, the little bit that you've seen, that's not even the that's not even the least of it. By the time we get to the end of the world, it's gonna be so much more evil that it's gonna be unfathomable. You literally have probably the majority of the human population don't even believe in the Heavenly Father walking around. The majority of people walking around are idolaters. At least back then, people actually knew the name Al-Sharia, or what them uh, Yiddish rats like to say, uh, El Shaddai. People at least uh, heard of the what happened to Egypt. So they always knew, like, look, that God of Israel, you know, he's something else. It's to the point now where you literally have people that might that believe that there's some descendant of a uh, of a gecko or that they just were just random uh chances that you know happen to manifest and we're all here this place is so evil that it's ridiculous this place is so 
everything that's supposed to be right is backwards and everything that is uh, supposed to be hated and abhorred has be has become uplifted all right and the lord is getting tired of it. he's not going to allow this to continue forever this is not a, a pleasant sight before the eyes of yahweh bashim all right our heavenly father will uh, get rid of this place god this is a uh, Proverbs 15 and 3, it says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. All right. So, hey, you, you got and I, I was going to title the video, but you have our people. They, you know, they sing that God's plan song because of Drake. No, God, God is mad right now. All right. He's not he's not planning you niggas trip to California or making sure, you know, you going to get them new J's on your birthday. God is angry. The living power, the heavenly father is so angry that I'm going to get the scripture that when he releases his son down here, when he releases these four sword judgments, this, the people, of this war are going to get ravaged to that beyond. To, hey, it's going to be a lot of people are going to be thinking that they're uh, uh, having like some sort of mass hallucination, the type of things that's going to be going on. The ways that people are going to be dying and the horrific tragedies that's going to smack this world all at one time. People are probably going to be thinking there's like some <laughs> mass hallucinogenic chemical in the air making everybody trip out. All right. But that's not going to be the case. This is going to be real. All right. What's uh? This is going to be real. Where is it at? Isaiah Khan. Yep. Psh. Isaiah 42 and 13, it says, The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yeah, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. All right. How about Shemiel Shai? It's going... The Most High is going to roar. He's going to let his hatred and his uh, indignation be known through who his son. All right. There's another scripture. A hey, vengeance burns in the heart of Yahweh Shai to redeem his elect. All right. To give a uh, recompense unto the wicked, unto Esau, the so-called white man, for all his lies and bullshit to you heathens. The angels, everyone, they're boiling, slobbering at the mouth. To get their hands on these people, even the the wicked, uh, the so-called wicked side. All right. The evil angels are desiring to be released upon this world in these last days all at once. All right. Verse 15, I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs and I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools. So everything, like I said, in that Genesis six, man, the animals, even the animals had to go. <laughs> All right, the land, this whole, especially here in America, this whole uh, piece of land on this planet literally has to be disintegrated. It has to literally be erased from history because of all the evils that go on here. Every ounce of evil that goes on here is spread out throughout the whole world. Why is, why is there women in the Middle East climbing poles twerking? Where did that come from? Why, do you, why is there such rampant spread of homosexuality in other countries other countries that barely have access to internet. Why? Because America, because of Esau, the so-called white man, because of his wickedness. All right. And that's not going to be tolerated. Uh, that's not going to be tolerated here soon. So basically the point of this video, don't forget, Hey, you know, uh, the most high through his son, Yahweh, uh, Bashim al Shai, you know, he's showing us mercy. We have a grace period. But the hey, the heavenly Father is so the heavenly Father is beyond angry. We don't have the words to fully understand. That's why, Lord willing, if we're of the elect, the men, if he when he gives us that indignation, we're going to be on that power level, and we'll be able to do uh, things in which are unspeakable currently. Because why? We'll be filled with the indignation of the Lord. We'll have His anger. We'll be able to actually see. These people for what it is. All right. Because even us, you know, you go outside, you know, we don't like this place. We don't like this world. But you may have a, a buddy in the world. You know, you go to work. Hey, what's up? How's it going, pal? Hey, how's, you know, how's your weekend? You know, shit like that. But 
from the Most High stead, he can actually see what that man has been doing from the beginning of time. And if we actually knew who these people really were, the things that they've really done, the true intentions of their heart, we wouldn't even we wouldn't crack a smile at people. We wouldn't shake no hands. We wouldn't hold no doors. All right. We not turning blinkers on to let people know we getting over. We would we would straight up be trying to uh, trying to push these people's brains outside of their heads because we can see we can actually see them. All right. Like in the movie, I just you know, I'm just wanted to explain this real quick. You looked at that movie Avatar that came out in like 2009. They had that saying, I see you or right? they had, you know, they would. Grab them, tell things, and connect each other, and look at each other. They weren't saying "I see you" physically. They mean, "Look, I see your spirit. I can see you for the person that you are." If we could actually see these people for the people that they are, we'd be out here trying to we'd be out here trying to play whack a mole on these people. All right. So this is Revelation eighteen and five. It says, "For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High Power hath remembered her iniquities." All right. And that's the time. The cup of evil. Is running over and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to is about to end this. This shit's gonna end. I can't I mean I have an idea, but I can't imagine how bad how much worse this place could get if this place had time. Imagine 20 years from now. All uh, 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 uh spliced babies. You have they already wanna uh alter DNAs and babies before they're born. You have babies coming out with green skin and blonde hair because they mama thought it was a cute idea. All types of madness, man. We probably wouldn't even have sunlight anymore. Esau would just shoot some sort of chemical in the air to block out the sun. It'd be madness. Ooh, it would be madness. But Yahweh Bashim Yashai isn't going to allow that. Why? Because uh, he has to save the elect. Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the elect, the 144,000 men and the one-third nation of Israel, the uh, uh, men, women, and children, you know, Lord, we're, we're, hey, the Lord's going to save us out of here. He has to. We can't get out of this. We're stuck in a pit. We need our Savior like we did back in Egypt. And this place is about to be cut short. All right. And you have to believe that. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bahashim, Bakakurash. The wanders for the possible elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, Wa Akwatium, learning and teaching of truth and sincerity. And with that I'm gonna say shalom.